And then what I like to see them do is a couple of those, and when they get a feel, just grab the club and do it again with both hands and actually move the club without stopping, pausing, resetting. Try that once. So yeah. left hand only, a couple of wings back there. When you get a feel, back again. Nice one there, Carrot. Yeah, it felt good, Baz. All right, mate. So let's talk about the movement of the body in the back. So a very common issue that we see with players would be that their head would move down mm -hmm. and away, almost this squatting sort of look exactly. as they take it from there. It yeah. generally results in a short backswing, and if anything, probably a little bit on the cramped steep side. Yeah. So in the cases that what you're really looking for is you're looking for the upper body to stay reasonably or to look reasonably vertical. So my chest would, let's say, be looking at the building over there that's off camera. In the case of what we're talking about, people kind of get stuck here, their body's looking down there. And what they're not, sometimes they're not turning enough, what they're really not getting enough is enough extension and lengthening of that trail side, enough movement in that back shoulder blade sort of a thing. Mm. And we, um, we see that the, the spine works in three ways in the golf swing, right? Uh, it turns, it tilts, and then extends and exactly. that couples to keep your head relatively stable exactly. throughout the motion. Which you wouldn't need that if you're standing straight up in a room talking to someone, but right. unfortunately we're not playing golf off a tee this high. <laughs> yeah. As a general rule. As a general rule. doing trick shot exhibition. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So uh, we see a lot of players, they understand the concept of the turn. Right? Yeah, that's the thing you've heard most. And that's the, honestly, growing up, that's what I heard the most. Just turn, get your head behind the ball, get a big turn in your left shoulder. For some people, it just works out. They just intuitively do it. But for a lot of people, it doesn't. Yeah. And their arm swing either gets short, they get a little steep, or they start lifting their arms because their body's not extending enough. And none of those things are mm -hmm. ideal. You will get, I mean, if you picture a tennis serve, a game I don't really play, but if you extend, you get a much bigger, more powerful motion than if you just pop the ball like that, yeah. javelin throw, these sorts of things. Things. These are patterns you see in those sports, and they, that produces a lot of energy in there. Yeah, one of, one of the best analogies I like to use is when, uh, if we were going to go chop a heap of wood, right? You mm -hmm. could stand here in your front bend with an axe, and you could just use your arms like this. Right. There would have been be so much force as opposed to allowing your spine Absolutely. to extend. Then you're able to shift more mm -hmm. pressure into the ground, which then translates energy into the Yeah, the and to some extent, down. you know, you hear a lot about the squat move coming down. Some players, Sam Sneed was the legendary one, exemplify that a lot. But a lot of times what's happening is because even though the top of the head's still, they're getting this extension, it naturally results in a bit of that sinking back into the ground and that sort of forms that squat a little bit. Yeah, that, that, that nice flowing look that yeah. you see with players. Like I think Rory's a great example, right? You'll I see his body is beautifully extended. Yeah, the lots chest of that. rises to the top and then he has this almost falling and floating sensation yeah. down to the ball before yeah. powerfully extending exactly. back through it. Exactly. Yeah. So what's a great drill or exercise? Well, one that I've used a lot, I forget who showed me this years ago, but we have someone just hold the club with their lead hand for a typical right hand, that's obviously their left hand, and then take their back hand and just reach behind them, holding mm. the, keeping the club in place, keeping their eye down about here and that opens this up. Yeah, it's just something you do naturally. If you reach for something that's out of reach, you naturally extend your body. So this isn't some strange learned behavior. From this angle, although it's not strictly true to say, you sort of want to picture the angle of the club and reach back in that direction. And I can see that your trail hip is getting higher yeah. as well. This trail legs extending your Frequently, body. Frequently, when people up. have the problem we're discussing, if you look on video, they look very little hip turn, very little hip motion. If they just try to turn it more, it doesn't really have the effect. It's this stretching that gives it that look. Mm. You notice with Jack Nicholas in his younger days, his legs didn't move a lot at the beginning, but he really had a lot of that. And late in the backswing, it pulled his left knee, you know, that far probably. Yeah. Because he hit the ball a long way. Yeah, and you see a lot of the, the greatest ball strikers and let's say pound for pound distance players of that time, they did have this. Bobby Jones, Sam Sneed. Extension. Yeah, huge amount of that sort of movement. And I think it was misinterpreted as, oh, they're lifting their left foot, yeah. but you can still lift your left foot. Well, yeah, you can lift it and not be, not be achieving that. that. <laughs> and for many people, if they had more of that and less independent arm swing, less fold of this, so, it would be a much, much better combination. Almost always, if the camera angle's reasonably sort of chest high from here, you'll see great players with quite a bit of visible space between top of head and club. Mm. If you look on TV and it's here, invariably you're over folding that and likely one of the causes is not enough for this extension we're talking talking about. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, let's say that I am a player and I come to see you, Baz, and I'm finishing like this at the top uh -huh. of my backswing here. So you would instruct me to take my trail hand off the golf club yeah. and then just get the feeling that I'm I trying to I might say, hey, if behind. there's a light bulb back here on a ceiling fan or something, okay. what would you naturally do if you had to keep the top of your head there and your eyes there? What would you do to get there? People just naturally extend. I mean, in almost all cases. 
Yeah. That's a sort of feeling. And, and then I, what I like to see them do is a couple of those, when they get a feel, just grab the club and do it again with both hands and actually move the club without stopping, pausing, resetting. Try that once. So yeah. left hand only, a couple of wings back there. When you get a feel, back again. Yeah, back and of the trail, shoulder just, facing the yeah, target there. I just the grab the, the club and go and stop. That's the idea. Then we'll put them on film and it always, pretty much always looks so much more powerful and so much more dynamic and it's reasonably easy for people to feel that I think, I think most the, of the time. I, I love this sensation for the fact that it really exemplifies this chest opening mm -hmm. up and that movement there. And what we see mm -hmm. with the best players in the world is that they have a big body turn and a yeah. short arm swing. Yeah. The worst players would have the shortest body turn or the least amount and the biggest arm. And that's why the club looks so much more compressed and the right leg and knee haven't sort of pushed back a little bit. Now, if you're a golfer, when you look at yourself on film, whose head actually does this and you topple this way to the target, don't do what we're talking about necessarily. <laughs> that's you're probably in the opposite category. Yeah. So you need a little bit more turn and a little bit less of that. Not that the drill couldn't help, you know, couldn't sort of stabilize it, but you're not the one that needs this if that's the case. But that's, I'd say not, overly common it's it's out there but i would say I would it's say. less common than just squashed and not moving enough if you've got low blood pressure don't take medicine that lowers your blood pressure <laughs> yeah. that's kind of the equivalent that's my medical knowledge coming through there <laughs> golf doctor and medical doctor All exactly right. so let's dive into it so what i'm going to do is a few of those little rehearsals i love that feeling love just that. imagining something's way up it helps there. to be young and thin by the way a little chubbier and older not quite as easy this drill oh, a few more of those dinners we had last that's night that's right that's perfect. All right. Nice big stretch. Couple that. Off we go. We will take it. Definitely more compression, more height. Yeah. Felt great, Popped mate. Popped it out there. Nice work. Enjoyed Got it. it.